In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the trend-based Fib extension tool. So, we go on the left side menu, and third from the top, we go into the GAN Fibonacci tools, click on the arrow, and what we want is the trend-based Fib extension tool right here. All right, before you get started using it, just draw three lines anywhere on, on the screen to get your chart to appear, and then just either right-click or double-click on these one of the circles, go into settings, and what you're going to want to do is set up your uh, your extension tool in such a way where the primary indicator that you want is the one and the one six one eight. You don't really need the seven eight six or the six one eight. I just personally like them because it's a good indication if it didn't quite hit uh, my zone, right? So if if you want to go red or pink or teal, whatever whatever color really pops for you. Uh, you know, purple or fuchsia work for me because it's quite vibrant. It's good to tell uh, kind of where things are happening on my chart. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to leave these specific numbers up, right? But we're looking for the chart to pull back anywhere between the 1 and the 1618. All right, in background, like again, you can, you can go as deep or as uh, light as you want. But just remember, you want to be able to see the candles behind your indicator. Okay, so there's that. Now let me show you how it works. Once you identify the um, the particular trend of um, of whatever currency pair you want to examine, you want to go from the highest point. So it will be right here. It doesn't have to be on that specific point that you click on, as long as it's on the same line. Then you go to the the lowest point uh, that you can see. Right, followed by the next highest point, which would be right here. I'm just going to extend it this way, but you'll see the top of the line is going uh, right at the top of the wick there. So now what's showing us is between 1 and 1618, we get the zone of reversal. Right, So as you see, it entered and it pulled right out and going up here. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that it's going to be going uh, higher in the opposite direction. All this tells you is that this... Uh, once it enters this zone, it has a very good chance of pulling back. And as far as how far it pulls back, you know, that's exactly why I like to have the green box here, which is my original 618, right? That kind of tells me this is the target goal. Once it comes in here, I just need to be a little bit weary that uh, the trade is going to soon be over, right? So for example, if we entered from line to line, you know, we made ourselves 361 Dollars, so that would be about three thousand six hundred pips, if not a little bit more. <coughs> okay, depending on where you grab your entry. So, um, you know, that's just an example from where we had our Ethereum high to our second high before we started having a heavy pullback. Now you're probably wondering, but how can we tell when it goes upwards, right? Because right now we just showed how it went down. Well, very simple. As soon as you identify where your trend is, you go on your lowest point, then your highest point, which is right there, followed by the next lowest point that you see. Right? So this tells you that once it hits that zone, it's a very strong chance of reversal. However, we know from following Ethereum that it never actually went up back that high. Right? It kind of stayed in the 618 zone, the green zone that I have here, and continued downward. Right, so once that happens and you see it break uh, past your lower low, then you can clearly identify that this uh, market structure is currently on a sell. Right, very bad time to get in the market on a buy when it doesn't even cross a six one eight retracement. Okay, so now let's use it. Let's just pick a random moment in time. Well, I guess uh, you know we'll we'll pick the the current moment. Right, so this is where price is at as of the making of this video. All right, so let me show you how to do a quick retracement based on that. So we had our high, then our low, then our other high, but then we broke through our low this way. So let's just see what that looks like through a Fib Fibonacci trend uh, extension. All right, so we connect our points, and then the next high would have been right here. So let's see where our purple, interestingly enough, it gets reached here, but you see it kind of hovers around this area for quite some time. Right? So you got to give yourself a significant uh, stop loss in order for you not to break out of your trade, especially if you take it on a limit, on a limit order. Right? But as you see, clearly, if we extend it this way, 
you know, we have seen our pullback. It went in that area and it finally started going up, right? So it's a very good opportunity to be able to enter around this zone, but just be cognizant that it doesn't mean it's going to happen 100% of the time. It's just a very likely scenario that it will. <clears throat> As you see, we're dropping off a little bit. So now, that's on a four hour time frame. Let's see what it looks like when we go on a one hour and we're gonna pick a smaller trend within that trend, okay? So, as an example, we'll just do it right here, okay? So here was our uh, highest point would be right here, right, in that trend. Then we get to our lowest point, which is right there, followed by our next high right here. So now let's extend the chart sideways and we can see where a potential pullback zone is going to occur. All right, let me just lower this a little bit. Uh, oh, no, never mind. We got on the right spot. So now you can see that, uh, you know, it's an obvious downtrend happening with the pair right now. And going down to the $2,746, dollars around that area, that's uh, going to be an entry in that zone for a very likely scenario that it would reverse and continue upwards. All right. Now, it's, it's not going to be 100% of the time, but this is how you use the tool. All right. This is to project where the market's going to go and so how you can set up your charts uh, in lieu of that. All right. Hopefully that helped. Um, you know what? I'm going to do one more currency pair rather than Ethereum just to kind of illustrate the example a little bit better. Let's go Euro JPY. Okay, and we'll switch it back to the four hour time frame. I like uh, larger time frames. It gives me a better top down view. You know, it's it's the analogy. You can use it on Google Maps, you know, where you're looking at the world and then the more you zoom in, the lower the time frame goes. Right. So on your weekly would be if you can see the entire continent on your daily would be you can see the country on the four hour. You know, you zoom into the city on the one hour. You zoom into a specific township in the city. 30 minutes more like, you know, a couple of neighborhoods, 15 minutes, and so on and so on, right? Until we get to street view, which is uh, at the one minute mark. So it's a good, good idea, right? Like you see from top down exactly what's going on, all the information that you need until you can get down to your street view and uh, snipe some entries, I guess, if you're a scalper. Okay, pardon me. <coughs> I'm trying to get over a cough. All right, so let's, uh, you know, we'll pick Euro JPY right now, and we'll see where the pair currently is at here, okay? But for the time being, what we're going to do is pick our high. You know, we identified our structure. There's our high. There's our low right here, this wick right there, but I'm just going to move it to the side here. And then the next high that we have is this right there. So I'll just uh, scroll to the right. There we go. So what this indicates for us is the potential, uh, the potential zone to reach in order to be able to um, project a pullback. All right. So as you see, the price uh, most likely will reach that area, and then that will be a good sign of entry to take it on a buy. All right. So again, it works on any currency pair, any time frame, and just to illustrate how it worked in the past. You know, let's let's just scroll scroll to a random moment in time for this pair. So let's say no, around the 2018. Here we go. Okay. So look at this for example. Market structure. We identified that this is making uh, uh, it is more or less consolidated, I guess, in a larger time frame. But you know, we'll we'll zoom in a little bit and then we'll pick out a specific spot and we'll see how that worked out. All right. So for example, here's our low. All right, in this leg, here's the low, here's the high, and here's the low before a pull upwards. There you go, All right? Doesn't necessarily hit it every time, but when it comes close, it's also a good indicator that it will reverse. Um, you know, another good example would be if we take it from this area, right? Here's our low, here's our high, and here is our pullback. Right, similar idea, where it came up to the gray instead of uh, that uh, purple area. Okay, not not to say that it's going to enter that purple uh, purple area every single time. Like I call it the purple area, you can call it the red or pink area, whichever color you chose to 
to utilize at that uh, at that particular moment you set up your charts but uh, yeah so let's try it again you know we pick our high at this point our low right and then our next high because we don't know how far this uh, chart goes we assume that this is the high because it started going a little bit lower and you know if we zoom out what happened in the future to show us that we actually hit that area right it may have taken a while but watch this Right. We came very close to hitting that area. If we uh, reanalyze where we had our lows and highs, we'd be able to clearly tell that it actually does hit that area. Right. So as you saw, it moved. It made a higher high. Move your indicator to um, hit that higher high to make sure that it uh, does the exact retracement you're looking for. Right. But this was our low before like that low hasn't been crossed since making a new high. So that's what we can still utilize. And now look, it pulled right just on the cusp of coming out of that zone and pulled right out, right? So it is a good, uh, it, it helps you set up uh, kind of a couple weeks or even months into the future knowing uh, where a projection of the currency pair is heading. And then you can make plans and analyze on a smaller time frame. Um, that particular spot to make sure that your entry is on point. All right, well, thank you very much. Subscribe and like the video and uh, come back for more. Take care.